As I have stated severally, we wanted to ensure that we have a credible and transparent process. So we went into a lot of detail, including producing proper ballot papers with pictures of all the candidates, of all the aspirants, ensuring that we move these papers out. However, the one thing, and I repeat again, as I said in my statement, that we didn't take into account, primaries usually do not experience the kind of turnout we saw yesterday. Nobody expected, and that was where I'm saying our, we had a, a level of underpreparedness. Nobody expected the kind of turnout that we witnessed yesterday. So we were hit by a huge shortage of voting material. And this is what now, from yesterday and today, we have been undertaking to ensure that we have enough material so that every single registered voter in every constituency will now have the opportunity to participate in the rescheduled primaries. So we have taken into account the problem and the challenges that we saw and now are preparing ourselves. Actually, like I said, we were doing a primary where ordinarily, and that has been the history, turnout has usually been between anywhere between 25 to 30 percent. Yesterday, in some places, they were up to 70 70 percent, 80 percent turnout, which is why I'm saying that's like a general election. So we had to, in order to ensure that the, the will of the people is heard, that is why we took that decision, even where places where voting had started, we took that decision that because we want our results to truly reflect the will of the people, we decided to cancel it and to ensure that we now have adequate materials so that the true will of the people can be heard in accordance with our Jubilee promise. Yes? 